Hi guys, this is Sadiq from droidman.com. In this video, we will show you how to install Android SDK platform tools. But why exactly do you need this tool? Well, this is a collection of official ADB binaries which is given by Google. And this is required by your PC so that you could execute the ADB commands. For example, you could execute the ADB command to boot to device to fast boot mode, boot it to stock recovery, flash the firmware via ADB side load, or type in the desired ADB shell commands. And for all of these things, you would require to have the SDK platform tools on your PC. And in this video, we will show you how you could do so. So first and foremost, download the SDK platform tools for your Windows. The link has been given in the description. Click on Windows and a zip package will be downloaded. You will now have to extract the zip package anywhere on your PC. As for this video, I am extracting it in C drive. You could see these are all the ADB platform tools file. Now your next course of action is to go to device settings menu, then scroll to the bottom and go to about phone and tap on build number 7 times. You will get a notification that you are now a developer. So now go back, go to system, go to developer options and now enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your device, tap ok. Now wait for a few seconds and you will get another prompt on your device allow USB debugging. You can also check mark always allow from this computer if this is your own PC and then tap allow. With this the connection has been established. Let's now verify the same. So go to the platform tool folder address bar, type in cmd and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt inside the platform tool folder directory. We could have also used the cd command but that takes too much time and is most complicated. So let's stuck with this method only. Anyways moving on, now that we have opened platform tools, type in adb devices and hit enter. As you could see, we have got the device id. This signifies that the connection has been established. Let's now verify by executing another command. This command should boot our device to the fast boot mode. And as you could see, the device is going to boot into the fast food mode in a matter of seconds. Yes, the device has been booted. So this signifies that the connection has been established. Now, one more important thing to note is that we know the location of the platform tools is C drive, but our system does not know the same. So we will now have to instruct our PC that the location of platform tool is C drive. To do so, first and foremost, Copy the location of platform tools and then go to start menu, search, view, advanced system settings and open it. After that go to environmental variables and select path under system variables. Then click edit, then click on new and now paste the path of the platform tools and hit ok to save it. So with this we have also instructed the PC that the location of platform tool is C drive. And guys, that's all from this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And yes, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching.